In today's political climate, it's easy to get boxed in. You're either left or right, with no room for nuance or independent thought. But here's the thing. I refuse to be a mouthpiece for anyone. Today, I'm breaking down why thinking for yourself matters more now than ever before, no matter what side you lean towards. It seems like we have reached a point where everything is about choosing sides. You're either all in to one political party or you're dismissed as the enemy by the other. But reality is, that is simply not true. I lean right, but that doesn't mean I'll blindly follow the popular talking points or fall in line with everything that the right says. In fact, independent thinking, being willing to critique both sides, is more important than ever before, especially in a world that thrives on echo chambers. Let's dive into why sticking to one script, whether it's left or right, is holding us all back. First, let's talk about the right. A lot of people automatically assume that if you lean conservative, you'll have to agree with everything the right says, but that's not how it works. For example, populism has surged on the right, and while it reflects valid frustrations of a large percentage of people, it can also go too far. Blind nationalism without a clear plan for economic growth or responsible leadership can be just as dangerous as any overreach on the left. We can't just cheer for populism without asking ourselves tough questions about how it affects policy and the country's future. Just because something is said in a way that gets the masses behind it does not mean that it is credibly valid. It should be popular, but it should also have meaningful understanding and direction behind the statement. Then there's the issue of corporate cronyism. The right often positions itself as the champion of free markets, but how often do we see it backing big corporations that crush smaller competition? This contradiction needs to be called out. If we are going to stand for small businesses and entrepreneurial freedom, then we have to be willing to challenge the cozy relationships between government and big corporations, even if it's uncomfortable. Now, the left has its own set of issues. We hear a lot about progress and inclusivity, but that rhetoric often masks something much more controlling, an overreach that stifles debate and free speech. Cancel culture is a prime example of this. People are afraid to voice their opinions, whether they're right or left, wrong or correct, because they fear immediate backlash and professional consequences. This kind of environment doesn't create progress, it creates fear, and fear is the enemy of open discourse which is the lifeblood of any democracy. If we can't have honest debates without worrying about being canceled or ostracized, then we have lost something fundamental. The left also champions government interventions as a catch-all solution. While there are cases where government action is necessary, we have seen time and time again the dangers of overregulation. Too much government interference stifles innovation and it restricts individual freedoms. It is rarely the right tool for any problem. The truth is, Neither side holds all the answers. I believe in conservative principles like individual responsibility, limited government, and free markets, but that doesn't mean I'm going to blindly support every politician or every piece of legislation just because it comes from the right. I also believe that diversity of thought is key to progress. When we reduce everything down to identity politics or to toting party lines, we're losing out on meaningful conversation that could actually lead to solutions. There's a growing need for independent thought, for people to step outside of the rigid party structure and to consider ideas based on their merits, not based on where they fall on the political spectrum. It's easy to get caught up in the us versus them mentality, but it's far more productive to engage with ideas critically, whether they come from the left or from the right. The point isn't to disown the side that you lean towards, but to think critically and refuse to follow a script just because it is popular. I'm not here to push anyone's agenda. I am here to provoke thought, to encourage independent thinking, and to challenge ideas no matter where they come from. We need more people willing to break the mold, to think for themselves, and to be unafraid of questioning their own side when necessary. That's how we move forward, not by repeating the same talking points, but by questioning them, challenging them, and being willing to embrace the complexity of the world around us as a nation and as a people. Critical and independent thought is what separates us from every other species on this planet. And the ability to use those gifts freely were given to us by our founding fathers for a reason.
They designed this nation with several things in mind, namely the ability for its people to be free in thought and being, and in addition, for their people not to feel stifled and creatively crushed in their endeavors in life and politics. Questioning your leaders is one of the basic fundamental properties that set this country apart from every other on this planet. So the next time somebody tells you that you need to toe a party line, remind them this country was founded on principles of you being able to speak your own mind, and you will do so no matter what any of your leaders have to say about it. I've been Drex Hawkins. Thank you very much for watching this, and have a good one, my friends.